everyone. Our story today is called Dog Loves Books. And the author of this story is Louise Yates. And when I look on the cover of this book, I can see that we do have a dog and he is carrying some books. That picture helps tell me what the story is about. Dog Loves Books by Louise Yates. Dog loved books. He loved the smell of them and he loved the feel of them. He loved everything about them. Dog loved books so much that he decided to open his own bookstore. He unwrapped, unpacked, and stacked the books ready for the grand opening. When the day of the grand opening finally came, Dog had a bath, he dried his fur, blew his nose, and threw open the door to greet his new customers. But there was no one there. So Dog tried to keep busy. And then a lady came into the store. I'll have a tea with milk and two sugars, she said. I'm sorry, said Dog, but this is a bookstore. I only sell books. The lady walked out. And Dog was alone. He waited and waited. When a man came into the store to ask for directions. And when he left, Dog was downhearted. But not for long. He wouldn't wait a moment more. Dog fetched a book from the shelf and began to read. When he read, he forgot that he was waiting. When he read, he forgot that he was alone. When he read, he forgot that he was in the bookstore. And when one adventure ended, Dog simply took another book down from the shelf and a new adventure began. So Dog was somewhere else altogether when a customer came into the store to ask for a book. Dog knew exactly which ones to recommend. Dog loves books, but most of all, he loves to share them. The end. Dog loves books.